when we talk about machine learning operations or ml ops now this ml ops is actually becoming one of the critical component of the successful completion of data science project deployment especially at a large enterprise level now this process is going to help the organization as well as the business to generate the long term value as well as reducing the risk which is associated with the data science machine learning as well as the ai initiatives that will be taken care by the companies so in this video we'll talk about what exactly is ml ops and why do we actually require this ml ops so let's get started now when i talk about this ml ops see at the core i can say ml ops stands for machine learning operations it's a standardization and streamlining of machine learning life cycle management so that's the core idea about this ml ops so here the main function of this machine learning is to focused on the streamlining the process whenever we are deploying the machine learning models to the production as well as maintaining those models and monitoring them so i can say this ml ops as a collaborative function and in the ml ops we often have the data scientist will always have the devops engineer as well as the it teams where there will be collaboration will happen so the goal is to have a streamlined process whenever we are taking the machine learning models to the production now the reason that this ml ops is very important in any project because when we talk about a machine learning project the machine learning project is made up of people from various teams the reason because when we think about building any machine learning application it's like a team activity now here in the data engineer is going to take care of the data data scientist is going to do his part we'll have the ml engineer business stakeholders each have its own responsibilities to give you a quick level idea i can say that the data engineer is the one who is actually responsible for building the data pipeline so that i can process the data i can organize the data and store it in a way that my machine learning models can be applied or even this data which will be created with the help of the pipeline will be used by my downstream applications so that is the role of this data engineer he is basically responsible for building the data pipeline now after this data engineer as i mentioned there is a data scientist now data scientist is the one who is responsible for understanding the business problem exploring the data set which he has actually got with the help of the data engineer and understand if machine learning is applicable or not if it is applicable perform the training perform the tuning and even evaluate the model so that it can be deployed to the production environment now after that we've got the machine learning engineer machine learning engineer is someone who is responsible for deploying the machine learning models to the production environment with appropriate governance appropriate monitoring as well as the software development best practices like using the ci cd that is continuous integration and the continuous deployment and we have got the business stakeholder now business stakeholder is someone who is responsible for using whatever the model that has been created and implemented by data scientist and the machine learning engineers use those models to make the decision for the business or the product and business stakeholder is the one who is responsible for bringing the business value that this model is expected to generate and lastly we have got a very important data governance officer now data governance officer is someone who is responsible for ensuring that the data governance data privacy and other compliance measures are actually taken care of across and as well as through the process of model development as well as the deployment of the models so as you can clearly see when we talk about the machine learning project it is made up of lots of people from various background with varied skill set with varied responsibilities and everyone working together on a single project 
and not just that about the people of this machine learning project if you take up a machine learning project the process that we follow is very different than what we would generally follow in the case of software development life cycle here when we talk about the machine learning project building it involves a specific pattern which is not exactly a fixed one see when we talk about the machine learning processing it involves various process like data preparation exploratory data analysis feature engineering model training model validation deployment and the monitoring if i want to quickly give you a background about these processes as why it actually makes unique when we talk about data preparation here prior to any data science or machine learning activity we have to work on the activities like data engineering in order to prepare the production data and make it available for consumption now this is generally known as a raw data okay that is what we call it as raw data so we have to get this raw data from the production environment so that we can go ahead and extract the features and the labels from this raw data so this step is actually called as the data preparation now once the data preparation is complete next we will move ahead with this exploratory data analysis now at this point we will perform the analysis and this analysis will be generally done by the data scientist to assess the various properties of the data that is available to us at this point of time we will perform the descriptive analysis inferential analysis to check the data quality and also check whether the assumptions about the data is correct or not and finally this would actually help us to understand whether the given data is going to help us in solving the business problem or not so obviously at this point of exploratory data analysis you will have a frequent communication and the iteration between the business stakeholder and the data science teams now once the eda is complete the next step is obviously the feature engineering now at this point here the data scientist is going to clean the data they are going to apply the business logic and along with that they'll also apply the transformations so that the features can be generated and it is ready for training the model so this is a step which will help us to prepare the data for training the machine learning algorithms now at this point of time we will also split the data into parts like training part test part and the validation part then we move to the model training phase now at this point of time the data scientists in the team they are going to explore the various algorithms as well as the hyperparameters that are available for the chosen algorithm and use the model that we have got from all the previous steps and then they are going to find the best performing model which gives us the better accuracy or better evaluation metric on the test or the validation data at this point of time they'll also perform the hyperparameter tuning then we will have the model validation now at this step of model validation so this is a step where i would say prior to the model deployment what we do is we are going to check whether the model that we have fine tuned right now whether is going to increase the existing model's performance or not or at least we will assess whether the performance from the model it is greater than our expected performance and along with that we will also do the validation with the other services that this machine learning model has to interact with we will also assess the technical requirement we will also assess the business requirement sometimes we will also validate the regulatory requirements as well so at this point of time we will again have a collaboration between the data scientist business stakeholders as well as the machine learning engineers and finally we have got the model deployment now at this point the machine learning engineers in a project they are going to deploy a validated model now they are going to decide whether it will be a batch uh, batch processing or a streaming or whether it is an online serving depending on the requirements of the use case and lastly we have got a monitoring step at this point the machine learning engineers they are going to monitor the deployed models for the signs of performance degradation or the error and here they'll also check the data drift and then 
by following the various metric so they are going to assess how the model performance is and then they are going to decide what exactly that they have to do if the model is going worse maybe they will again trigger a workflow for retraining and lastly i would say we will have a data governance officer who is ultimately responsible for ensuring that the entire process that we have just described for machine learning is in compliant with the company and the regulatory policies so you can clearly understand the implementation of machine learning in the notebook is very different than the process that we follow in real time it re it involves the cross functional team it involves the complex process in order to make it realize realize about the model that we are working so that is the reason that you have to think about ml ops right now you have clearly observed that building the models for your personal project is completely different than the one that you would build it for an organization when you are working in your own environment you will just launch your own jupyter notebook you will get a data set and you will train it but how do you deploy it what are the key things that you would consider what are the tools that you would use in order to deploy those models so that is where the ml ops tools comes into picture and while working in a very large project you also have to think about the dependencies so the dependencies will ensure that the applications that are working in our development environment will also work in the production environment as well without much of the issues and there should be a proper communication between multiple teams and the multiple stakeholders in the project so that you have a smooth implementation of the machine learning model you have to manage the model risk you have to always monitor the data drift that would happen when you have deployed the machine learning model and apart from all these things you also have to think about from the infrastructure side as well whether the applications that you have built whether it is able to serve the customers which you are actually planning to serve it should not be a case that you have the application but the users are not able to access it because it is not built for scale so you have to think about all these aspects whenever you are bringing the machine learning projects to life for real time use cases hence the knowledge of ml ops tools is very much important for any data scientist or any data enthusiast here what is the solution well the solution for all these things is to have a streamlined approach for machine learning projects that is where the ml ops comes into picture so ml ops is the machine learning operation which will help me to streamline the overall process starting from data preparation till the deployment and the maintenance and the monitoring of the models so that is the importance of ml ops for any organization now just like devops in ml ops as well we we generally talk about the high level practices that we have to follow which means we always prefer for automation but remember whenever you are implementing the ml ops in your organization so you have to follow some guiding principles so these are all just the high level that i would say now you can also think about it and keep your own industry practices as well in your mind whenever you are implementing for your projects so first thing that i would always tell you is always keep the business goals in mind so just as the core purpose of ml is to solve the business problem in the same way don't just jump into the ml ops tools before you thinking about what exactly the impact it has got on your project so ensure that keep your business goal in mind and for those business goals in mind align the right set of tools so that you can have a streamlined approach in deploying the models to the production and take a data centric approach which means when i say feature engineering training inference and monitoring the pipelines i would say these pipelines are the data pipelines so ensure that this pipeline that you would create whether it's for feature engineering training inference so these pipelines are actually robust and not just in this machine learning projects but also in the overall environment or overall server where your business is running ensure that you have the data engineering process which is robust and ensure that you maintain the high quality in the data that you are working with 
which is very critical for building a successful machine learning projects and implement the ml ops in a modular fashion so just like the sdlc we call it as software development life cycle so the code quality is very important so in the same way when we talk about the machine learning application so the code quality is very important and modularizing the code when creating the code for the machine learning project is going to help you in a long way when it comes to scaling your application and you should ensure that you will mature in a way such that the process should guide the automation and not just the automation tools so these are the key things that you have to keep in mind whenever you are taking the ml ops approach i hope this give you an intuition as what exactly is this ml ops and why do we require the ml ops now in the next video i'll talk about some of the important fundamental aspects which you need to know when we talk about the ml ops side that is the machine learning operations so i'll see you in the next video